From the National Weather Service in Raleigh, it's Nick Petro with your routine Monday morning weekly briefing for Central North Carolina. And this covers the period today through Sunday through the 20th of September. And I thought I'd first start off with a quick look at current conditions um, as it relates to um, tropical storm uh, and what's forecast to become Hurricane Sally there in the northeast Gulf of Mexico. And you can see there's uh, quite a bit of rain with it, um, particularly on the, well, I mean, the radar obviously can't see, uh, obviously as well out further out in the Gulf of Mexico, but um, clearly there's a, a large area of rain on the north and, and northeast side there. So, uh, so quite a bit of rain in the forecast for uh, areas along the northern Gulf Coast, the New Orleans area, western Panhandle, Florida, and uh, Mississippi and Alabama there, of course. Um, and, and you can kind of see the forecast track kind of outlay out, um, overlaid here on the, uh, on this uh, image here. And you can see the forecast uh, track takes it up into um, oh, southern um, Mississippi and southern and central Alabama and central Georgia. They're kind of making a hook back towards the east, making landfall uh, near New Orleans uh, Tuesday evening as... Um, you know, as a as a tropical or category one hurricane there, um, and then uh, as I zoom or as I shift um, the um, uh, as I shift the the image here uh, to the north, you can see this is the current uh, radar. Um, and let me just overlay on here some current conditions and uh, particularly uh, temperatures. And you can see it might be kind of hard to see but um there's not a whole lot of rain with it now but there see this line of showers right here uh that kind of denotes and and also you'll notice let me uh let me stop the the loop here and I'll put it on the last frame and you'll notice too there's two things that um you know you'll notice obviously there's a line of showers along this line uh, not a lot of showers, just very scattered, very widely scattered. But you also notice, look at the, t the temperature change um, behind that line. So, you know, we've got uh, an air mass change, a cold front uh, getting ready to move through. And um, and as oftentimes is the case, uh, cold fronts are, um, you know, produce help produce showers and maybe some thunderstorms as they move through. And you can see uh, that will be the case, uh, perhaps maybe a few showers developing uh, over the Carolinas here um, as the uh, daytime progresses. And But behind that, some of this cooler, more pleasant air will move into our area as we head into the um, nighttime tonight and daytime tomorrow. So anyway, uh, back to our slides here. Um, again, this briefing covers uh, this week through Sunday. And as I uh, forward to the next slide, it's a busy time in the tropics. There is a lot going on out there. Five-day tropical weather outlook down at the bottom. You see all the stuff out there. Um, so kind of taking it one by one. Um, let me uh, do my spotlighter here. Let's start with Sally because obviously that's the system of most concern, uh, at least you know, potentially later this week for for us. And you can see um, forecast to uh, to make landfall uh, late uh, late Tuesday and then making that kind of that hooked back to the east. And you can see it'll be a depression uh, just south of Atlanta by uh, Friday morning. And uh, if we, you know, some of a lot, most of our models show uh, basically Sally, you know, moving, continuing to move east and merging with the front and basically just, you know, trekking off to the east out into the uh, eastern Atlantic. Now, there will be some leftover uh, swath of rain with this. So we're going to be sort of on the northern edge of the rain shield, and I'll show that here in a minute. So we're going to keep a close eye on the track. If the remnants decide to move further north and west and track further uh, north across uh, North Carolina, then that could set us up for a little bit heavier rain than what we're predicting right now. Uh, consequently, if it were to go further south, the center that is, then the heaviest rain bands would stay uh, closer to that uh, uh, and uh, and we would see lesser amounts. So uh, I'll, I'll get into the details here in a minute. Um, let's look at Paulette. Paulette's just north of uh, Bermuda and it's going to track uh, away from North America. Um, looking to Rene. Rene's uh, basically just going to be a depression here uh, and remain a depression, kind of just you know, slowly meandering out in the Atlantic. Um, what else do we have on here? Tropical Storm Vicky is forecast to actually weaken 
Um, it is a tropical storm, but eventually it'll weaken to a depression uh, out in the uh, middle of the Atlantic. And then uh, let's see what else we got. We've got Teddy, who uh, is forecast to actually strengthen and uh, strengthen eventually to a major hurricane out in the middle of the Atlantic. The good news is all of these are forecast to stay out into the uh, out in the middle of the Atlantic. Uh, I haven't really seen any model data that brings any of this any of these systems close to the east coast so that's good news it looks like everything's either weak dissipating or will stay out in the um out in the central atlantic in terms of these storms here that are out further east okay but it's a busy time so we're likely to see some leftover rain from sally later this week and otherwise we're closely monitoring so uh you know we're in the um you know uh we're in the peak of the hurricane season there so uh no surprise that we've got all this stuff on the map here all right so um, the upcoming weather pattern, uh, there's the cold front that I alluded to in the panel in the upper left. That'll move across central North Carolina later today and bring with it a few scattered showers, maybe a few thunderstorms. Uh, not a whole lot, not a, not a lot of rain with that. And then dry and cooler for Tuesday and the daytime Wednesday. Very nice weather during this time. Um, during Tuesday and, and, and daytime Wednesday, really pleasant temperatures. And then the remnants of Sally will move across the Carolinas late this week, possibly beginning as early as Wednesday night, but more likely Thursday or early Friday. So you'll look for a period of light to moderate rain across central North Carolina when that happens. I, I will point out too, if, if the low treks a little bit further to the north, we might get into more of the heavier rain um, than what we're predicting now. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then behind that, clearing out and turning, turning cooler again behind Sally for this weekend. So definitely enjoy the nice weather uh, for the weekend. Um, in terms of those rainfall amounts, uh, generally a half inch or less with the cold front today, if you see any rain, that is. Uh, dry Tuesday and dry during the daytime Wednesday, but Thursday and Friday we'll see the uh, remnants of Sally trek across um, you know, the Carolinas. So uh, looking to, to see about an inch to an, two and a half, one to two and a half inches of rain late this week. Again, heaviest south. Again, if I, men I mentioned if the tr low center tracks further north, then that would mean more rain would be on the heavier side of that band. Um, as you see there on the Thursday and Friday time frame. Uh, Saturday and Sunday look dry for us, looking pretty good. So when you add up seven days a, a worth of rain, we're looking at about one to three inches of rainfall. And some spots that see repetitive downpours may get a little more. Um, so, and again, um, you know, we may have to tweak that depending on, you know, the actual um, center of Sally low track or remnants of it anyway. All right, what about the flash flood potential? Nothing today, nothing Tuesday. And you can kind of see Wednesday, that's mainly at least the green for us is, is geared more towards the nighttime Wednesday. So when the, when the remnants of Sally bring rain to central North Carolina during the latter half of this work week, the risk for isolated flash flooding will increase. Always be watchful for prolonged heavy downpours that can quickly result in isolated flooding low spots and never drive through areas where water covers the road. All right, in terms of severe thunderstorm potential, well, you know, of course, as I mentioned, a few thunderstorms are possible with the passage of the cold front later today. However, thunderstorm winds and hail, if any hail occurs, that is, uh, they're expected to remain below severe criteria. All right, and then no thunderstorm activity Tuesday or Wednesday. Looking further down the road, um, you know, I mentioned that, uh, you know, when we looked at the tropics and all those systems, um, out in the eastern and central Atlantic, those are, are expected to stay out into the Atlantic. So the only tropic activity in the you know in the near and short term would be basically Sally remnants. So once we get past that, it looks like maybe we'll see a, a, a period of dry weather for central North Carolina next week. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. This can always change, you know. Um, obviously, eight to fourteen day outlooks uh, tend to change frequently, but but right now it looks like. You know, we'll keep our fingers crossed that nothing tropical decides to get in, in the picture. But right now, it looks like we're going to stay, you know, on a drier side uh, next week and below normal temperatures for central North Carolina. I'll take that, <laughs> especially after this humid summer we've had. So um, so anyway, um, you know, maybe next week, the 21st through the 27th of September looks um, looks pretty good. All right, so let's uh, wrap up this uh, briefing. A cold front again will move south across our area later today. It'll bring with it scattered showers, maybe a few thunderstorms, dry and cooler for Tuesday and daytime Wednesday. Nice weather during that time. The remnants of Sally will then move across the Carolinas late this week, possibly beginning as early Wednesday night, but 
more likely Thursday and Friday. Look for a period of light to moderate rain across central North Carolina when that happens. Could be a little heavier if Sally remnants track a little further north. And then clearing out and turning cooler again behind Sally for this weekend. Definitely enjoy the nice weekend weather. And then, uh, as I mentioned, um, we're not expecting any severe storms today with the front. Um, and then always, you know, lightning is always a consideration, so be careful of that. And then, of course, with the rain with Sally, we'll have to be on guard for some isolated flash flooding. Be watchful for prolonged heavy downpours that could quickly result in flash flooding. Slow down on wet roads and never drive through areas where water covers the roadway. So those are uh, that's going to be our main hazard this week is the risk for localized flooding and flash flooding when those uh, Sally remnants uh, move across. All right. So you can see, uh, haven't seen a haven't seen a five day graphical like that in a while with numbers, high temperatures stuck in the 70s there. Um, I certainly will enjoy that. I hope you enjoy that as well. So um, so anyway, that uh, wraps up. Well, I won't enjoy the rain. <laughs> that's for sure. And we definitely need to be careful later this week with uh, with uh, with the periods of rain we're going to get with the Sally remnants. All right. So that wraps up the uh, weekly briefing for Central North Carolina for this um, uh, Monday the uh, 14th of September. And uh, with that,